morning sugar babies welcome to my channel today we are going to go over some coupon and stuff so if you are not interested in couponing exit out and for you guys that stick around and are interested we are going to go over grocery shopping couponing basically so I go online and I'm showing you guys my routine. This is how I do it. You may decide to do it a different way, but because I live in an apartment complex, we don't get the sales ads for the weekly sales when they start. I am choosing to do this video on Wednesday because today is the first day of our new week in the grocery stores. So... I'm going to start with Publix because that is one place that I shop. So I go on to Publix.com and I hit my weekly ad. And from there, guys, I go down and here I stop where it says view weekly ad. I click on that. And so now... If you look up here, I can choose coupons because Publix uses digital coupons. I can choose to do that. I can select buy, buy one, get one freeze. Now, for most people, Publix is an extremely um, higher end store for some people and they don't get why couponers shop at Publix. Well, we shop at Publix because for one, you have buy one, get one free deals. And usually the deals with buy one, get one free coupled with coupons that apply to the items that you're purchasing lowers the price and actually makes for a better deal. Publix also doubles coupons up to, at my local one, I think it's, they doubled 50 cents up to 50 cents so 50 cents will be a dollar 25 will be 50 that's what they mean when they double coupons and i'll talk more about that later because not very many stores are doubling coupons these days they've actually chosen to do something different like lower the the actual prices of the items to compensate for you know not doubling coupons and it's strictly up to each you know either the store or the manufacturer um the oh excuse me the store or the corporate office decides whether or not they want to participate in double coupons okay guys so Publix has these themed months meaning some months you might have where they have nothing but deals on breakfast items as you can see here it says Viva Italia which means that all Italian meals and products will probably be on sale and so if you look, there's Italian meat variety pack for $6.99, and then it shows you save up to $2. Olive oil, buy one, get one free. And Progresso soups. You got cannolis, hoagies, hot and mild Italian sausages. Um, yeah, so you have all those things that are Italian themed that they are they are offering this week and it actually came with a separate insert now that came in the paper and i'm not 100 percent sure whether or not i say i did guys i picked up sunday's paper and so i knew about it because if you can see here it says a guide to italian cooking and amazing savings Publix viva italian this actually was in that ad and it shows some of the products that are on sale it gives you recipes um and things like that and i know that was like a bad view but that's because of the way the camera is um so here you have italian bread meatballs dressing talenti gelato now let me tell you guys about talenti gelato um gelato 
it is a very very good alternative to ice cream it's they have some bomb flavors i am partial to i think it is the mango sorbetto because i use it in smoothies yeah and the talenti gelato i like what's the flavor that i had um the pistachio sicilian pistachio which is shown on here it's good the double chocolate brownie that's good the caramel and it's like a caramel one that's um real real good so i'll probably what i do is i could write a separate list so i'm just gonna add the items to a shopping list and you can do that there and then when i'm ready i can just print it out i do need and guys this is my actual grocery list i am going to buy the pepperidge farm texas toast because i happen to actually need that and i love i may be the minority here but i actually love prego um pre-made pasta sauce and i use it for quick spaghetti now if i feel like cooking i'll drag myself into the kitchen and slow cook um my pasta sauce in a crock pot from scratch now sargento shredded cheese i happen to love that brand and so yeah i'm gonna get that barilio barilla why did I say Barilla? I'm thinking of Brillo Chow. Um, buy one, get one free. I am going to go ahead and do that. And so, it let me pay attention to the exclusions. Because I just happen to need lasagna and jumbo shells. And it's excluded. But I can still get like my macaroni noodles. And spaghetti and rotini and penne and bertali sauce is good i was gonna drag on naming all the pastas that i purchased no not today bertali sauce buy one get one free is good and most of these things i'll show you guys what i do after i select all these items y'all i need some wine i don't have any i think i have like a half a bottle of moscato left and that's not gonna do it for me and i don't no i don't want anything from here it's not my cup of tea y'all i'm interested in this right here the lobster fettuccine cooking bag dinner i wonder like my mind wonders what that would taste like frozen lobster like i don't know i haven't been adventurous enough to try it maybe one day it won't be this day. Genio ground turkey is two for seven. So yes, I'm going to grab that. Um, and guys, I, I normally just look for really good deals. Buy one, get one free deals. Things that I need. And like that. So, and the Cracker Barrel cheese, I do need to add. Because I love Cracker Barrel cheese and crackers. I am such a rat. And guys, as you can see, like I said, I'm just going through seeing what I need. I don't need any of these things. I just bought a big bag of potatoes. I don't need any potatoes. Plus, they're too starchy. Um, simply, they got simply orange, apple, grapefruit, or cranberry for three for ten. Anybody who has watched any of my previous videos knows that I actually, y'all, what's going on here? I actually love, um, the simply juices. Why did it do that? It pulled up a two for five. I don't, oh, that was the lemonade. I don't want that. I need to take that off my list. Now I need some produce. I definitely need some, some veggies and fruits. But, ooh, they got Fuji apples. 169 I probably could grab a better deal at, at all. Um, Aldi's. 
However, the strawberries are a deal because at Aldi's, they are actually more than this. So three, four, five dollars is like what? A dollar sixty six a piece, something like that. Yeah, it's like a dollar sixty six a piece. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to see something. And you'll have little pop-ups like that asking you to complete the surveys. They really do want to get your opinion on how to make themselves better. But in my opinion, honestly, guys, I think that Publix is pretty darn good as far as quality. It is not the worst store. You get what you pay for. So you get a cleaner store. You get more courteous employees and Publix is actually very generous with their employees as far as time off they're not treated like Wally World and I wasn't gonna put that out there but I decided yeah what comes up comes out Wally World sucks when it comes to their customers I mean their customers as well as their employees they're um overworked and underpaid and that's horrible that that still happens in this day and age so yeah and I do need um, applesauce guys my daughter and my son Justin loves oh uh, applesauce and he loves Mott's apple juice like he drinks it like it's water um, let me scroll down I just bought syrup for pancakes I don't need that I just bought coffee I may at some point in time, because there was a coupon for this, I'll go ahead and get it because I need to stock up on that anyway. That is the only mayonnaise that I prefer to use. I do not like any other brand except for Hellman's. I use Miracle Whip, but I only use it on two occasions when I make bologna sandwiches or when I... um make tuna sometimes three for ten dollars deal part that's another brand that i am partial to so when i see it for that particular price i will go ahead and grab it oh they got my beer on sale that i like to keep in my house um and i did just drag that house for it right i know and guys again i'm just looking and i go through this for Every one of the stores that I do grocery shopping at. Uh, what I need. The kids just asked for freaking pizza rolls. I'm glad I didn't order them when I placed my order with. Um, I buy this. I buy I, when I place my order with Walmart. I place the order there. I'll show you guys that as well. But I place uh, Jalen. I give Jalen Halo Top ice cream because Jalen is extremely overweight. And when he wants to eat ice cream, he will overdo it. So at least I know what his calories are when he's eating this because I buy, I, he's the only one that eats it. So he, I can kind of monitor him because nobody else is going to touch it. Because um, Justin, Oh, no, you can't give him that. Justin will tell you outright. I don't like that. <laughs> Justin, and I do buy the Rally's fries. Anybody who's in the Southeast or who has a Checkers or Rally's know that they are the bomb.com to eat. I don't buy a lot. I'm wondering if there's a Tyson's $1.50 off coupon for the chicken. But I just remembered I bought chicken at Walmart. So now it takes me into health and beauty. I don't need anything from health and beauty. I do need Ziploc bags, but I'm not willing to pay these prices because I think I can get them for cheaper when I think that I could get something for cheaper and it's not a must have like I'm not completely out of storage bags so I don't have to just go and get it 
I'm good. And then if you'll see, it says click coupons. So it tells you which ones digital coupons are available for. And, um, okay, so now we're into baby and household. Oh, they have my filters on sale. I wonder how much they are. Save up to $3.99. So they're probably like 3 or 4 it's probably like four dollars they have the number four filters for my coffee filter and i can buy a 100 pack and it has lasted me over a year and that's because i don't drink coffee a lot i do but i don't not enough to go through 100 in less than a year. So when I buy these two that I'm getting right here, I probably won't have to buy any more coffee filters for a very, very long time. Again, this contains... Um, I don't know, y'all. This is supposed to be like the uh, natural section of the ad. And I also go down here to the green flyer this is called the the green flyer you'll see it referred to as such on bloggers and vlogger websites and things like that it's the green flyer from Publix and if you look it goes from February 16th to March 1st so I check here to see if there are any additional deals that I need to grab Jalen is about to start, Jalen and Justin actually, are about to start football. And football is a season where I have to have like smoothies, protein shakes, um, sports drinks. I have to stock up on all that stuff. I'm looking to see, y'all, yeah, I love International Delight Creamer, but why do I think this is going on sale somewhere else in March. Let me tell you guys about this. You guys should pay attention to the, oh, they have Plugra butter, which is actually next to Kerrygold in quality. Um, maybe a little bit better, but pay attention, you guys, to the month. And each month offers a different deal which a grocery store sometime like march is national frozen food month which means that you can go and get stock up on some great freezer meals and freezer products and fill up a deep freezer and your refrigerator freezer and i need i think i can find those cheaper so i'm not gonna click on that i don't need it now if you see here, it says that Lipton tea or the wellness tea is $2.99. But then if you look right next to it, there is a $1 off any one Lipton tea. And if you see here, you can print it. So that essentially makes this $1.99. But here's the gag. This is a Publix coupon. See, it says in the lowercase corner, redeem at Publix. That's not what tells you it's a Publix coupon. This LU number is specific to this store, which means it could only be used at a Publix store. So I would use that. And then I venture to say there is probably in the ad, not the ad, but the Sunday's paper, I guarantee there's going to be either a 50 cents off or another dollar off making this a dollar, making this actually a dollar if you choose to purchase it. I'm not 100% sure. So what I will do is add it to my shopping list because Justin drinks a lot of tea, iced tea anyway, and he makes it from um, scratch. I would not print this because I probably can find this coupon in the stores or I may already have it from one of the previous papers when they put it in. Now, this says, buy any two spam 12 ounce or Mary Kitchen hash 14 ounce, mix and match and get a dozen Publix large eggs free. 
So they are two for five. So I spend five dollars and I'm getting the eggs free. The eggs are probably like a dollar seventy nine. So it is probably a pretty good deal, especially if you can find a coupon for spam or Mary Kitchen's hash. Now I do buy hash. Um occasionally I will prepare that not very often, but I normally will buy like two cans and two cans will last me for a good little bit. Butterball Turkey products always has like a coupon in the Sunday inserts and I do like the bacon and the ground turkey. I don't care for the sausage patties or the sausage links. My son just bought, went out yesterday and bought a, I can't believe it's not butter container and wow. Look, it's a two dollar off one coupon. That's why it pays to look at your ads before you go and um try to do any shopping. And the water. I don't need any oatmeal. I just bought oatmeal on the previous grocery shopping. So I'm not gonna we don't eat enough for me to buy more. Um Oh, Publix also has this. Yeah, the Frozen Rewards the Frozen Rewards Club. If you see here it says get a $10 Publix gift card when you spend $30 on participating Frozen products between January 1st through March 31st, 2019 at Publix. Accrue $30 over multiple trips earn up to $50 in gift cards, which means that you can do this particular offer five times. And I personally, if I did, I would do the P.F. Chang's. I would probably OD on P.F. Chang's because my son that's away at college loves those. And when he's home, I like to have stuff that he likes to eat. And he's a he's a young adult and they eat reckless as ever um let's see i just bought egg noodles on the last grocery trip i don't use them enough to warrant another purchase of them i need some ricotta or ricotta I do need that. And Galbani is a great brand. Like, I love their mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. And I've recently been able to get it from Walmart, my local Walmart. Oh, I have to buy Tootie popcorn. She loves popcorn. She likes white cheddar popcorn. A regular popcorn with butter now look, look at these deals like if I'm at work these come in handy because I do to I do tend to grab like a sub and go to work so I would probably need this coupon right here the one dollar off anyone maybe for tomorrow when I go to work because currently I am off and I've been serving you guys up some videos now $1.75 off any one Hellman's mayonnaise. And I think Hellman's mayonnaise was in the actual ad for um, buy one, get one free. So I would clip this or, yeah, I would go to the store, probably get two and take two of these out and get my mayonnaise for an even cheaper price. They also offer a non-food savings ad and... This is if you do a lot of couponing. It's a lot of couponers who grab some sweet deals on non-food items using this purple flyer. That's how come if you go in the store, chances are you probably won't find it. Because once someone knows that there's a great deal, they'll go and they'll wipe the um, these purple flyers and the green flyers out of the front of the store. So it's kind of like a first come, first serve. So... This one will expire on the 8th, which means on the 9th, the new ones will be out. So that's how you kind of know when to go to the Publix and stalk them for the ad based off of the end date. You know, the very next day or later on that night before closing at the store, 
they'll probably put those out and you can probably grab them. They've started, some Publix have started holding them behind the counter. So that's all that I needed from Publix. And if you look up here, my shopping list is up here. I'll click on it. Now I can view all my items. As you can see, not very many unless they are on sale. I think I have a coupon or I need them. That Those are the only circumstances in which I will purchase the items. And now I hit print. And I hit print again. And I go into my thing. And here we go. My printer will go off shortly. And now I'm going to my next store which is Winn-Dixie. I have Publix Winn-Dixie. Oh, I didn't type in the dot com. I have Publix Winn-Dixie and Piggly Wiggly, Food Giant, Walmart, all these. Uh, and those are the main ones. We don't have a lot of great grocery stores. Most of our good stores closed a few years back. Like, um, uh, Food World, Bruno's. There's a Marino's. I don't care for Marino's like like that. It's often found in the the um more urban sections of the city. You hardly find them in what are considered the upper crust area. Guys, hold on. My printer ran out of paper. Uh-oh. Of course, and I hit the wrong button. Oh, why am I searching all over for the paper? It's right here. And guys, my brother, he used to he used to deliver office supplies. So I lucked up and got when I say I lucked up and got a whole case of paper. Knowing him, he probably boosted it, but he wouldn't tell me if he did. I just would have to assume that that's what he did. But I don't have to buy any um any papers I don't have to buy any papers for any computer papers let me say that um, let's venture off and say I'm gonna go to this one now same deal they offer digital coupons as well and BAM exactly what I told you guys when you become familiar with stores and sales and you're familiar with a lot of things, you'll see frozen food month. Did I lie to you guys? Nope. I told you. Frozen foods. So it seems as though when Dixie is choosing to work on their frozen food month a couple of days early. So, y'all, have y'all ever had the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls? They are good i treat myself to them to keep from going by and take out mayfield ice cream is a brand here in alabama it's good it actually is pretty darn good actually and so same routine guys i just bought waffles do i want to buy more because the kids are going what i'm thinking about guys is ahead and I remember that the kids are getting ready to go on spring break. And that orange glow you guys see in my background, that's my candle. You guys know I don't start a morning without, without my candle. It has to be lit. So I'm just going through. I have to prepare for these children to be out of school, which means they literally will eat me out of a house and a home. And if you guys see, I don't, I don't select a lot. And if you're wondering when I'm going to purchase um, meat, you will be wondering because I will be making a trip to either Sam's 
or the butcher. Those are the two choices. That's where I'm going to purchase my meat. And so that's why you won't see me purchase meat. When I go to a grocery store, it's normally for something quick or it is for items that are that I need in the cabinets and also in my freezer and deep freezer. And guys, if it looks like I am loading up on stuff, I am. No need to wonder, I am. I told you guys. It is for the children when they're out of school. And I probably will have some unwelcome guests who will be coming to my home, which means I have to have something for everybody. And I still cook, which is why you won't see. Um, it looks like I'm buying a whole bunch of everything, but it's not happening. So this ad only had seven parts or seven pages to it. I'm going back to the weekly ad. And now I'm going to into the actual store ad, which is right here. So, guys, I have to have stuff for everybody. I have quite a few people who come to my house. And part of being a host is catering to your, your visitors and making sure they're comfortable and that they have all the things that they like. Or as much of the things as they like. So when I shop, I shop with the intent that I'm going to have some guests. I'm going to have um, my children who will be binge eating. Their little friends um, will come through the house and probably be starving. Sometimes if I'm purchasing, I will give to someone who is lesser fortunate than I. And so that's why you see me purchasing certain things. Now, I don't cook every day. I cook about 80% of the time. Most of the time, I am dead dog tired. So, my children will get quick meals or they will get whatever strikes my, my mood at the time to cook. I want fresh seafood, so I'm not going to purchase anything frozen. I will go to the counter and purchase it. So that's why you don't see me purchasing food and meat because it's not going to happen. I want fresh, 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 fresh. I actually need something that's not here and that kind of sucks. I need to go to a specialty store to get what I'm looking for. Oh, they have fresh churned butter and honey butter. I think I want to try that. Only because Justin loves strawberry and I like honey butter. Justin literally inhales um, strawberry cream cheese, strawberry. He loves strawberries. I need some croissants. And I use croissants to make sandwiches. I don't use traditional white bread if I don't have to. I will also use um, croissants for French toast type stuff. And I do make stuff by by hand from scratch i am a child who grew up with a southern grandmother and i do cook from scratch but in this day and age I, I won't tell you no lie i kind of want some convenience so i'm getting away from cooking like every single day when my children were little y'all i'd be in the kitchen cooking every single day without fail now when dixie is synonymous for their 10 for 10s do you have to buy 10 of the exact item no because it says rice aroni or pasta i can mix and match the 10 10 mccormick chili seasonings those are the only ones that are 10 for 10 so you definitely have to buy 10 of those now when it comes to canned vegetables i do purchase them and i don't care what the brand is Growing up, my grandmother was loyal to Green Giant and uh, Del Monte. Those are the only two that we purchased. I am not like that because I understand that when it comes to milk, eggs, bread, and certain items, they're all manufactured in some of the same plants as the bigger brands. Uh, these may be, I don't know, a 
Bean might be imperfect and they decide to market it as something else. So I am going to do the 10 for 7 and I I don't care. Not I didn't buy any from Walmart. I try to see what I buy at different stores so I don't buy the whole thing. Now I would be inclined to get the Gatorades at 10 for 10, but I know that Gatorades and Powerades will go down to 75 cents or 65 cents, which makes this not a great deal. Two for five is generally what I would find Doritos for, so I can go ahead and add them to the list because I did not buy any for the children. These are two for 10, which makes them $5 a piece. Normally at different stores, they are $4.99. A piece so that is all in the same area do I want to argue over a penny no I am going to click on it because I do buy the Lipton green tea and the peach tea I am staying away from certain things my kids don't like the green tea as much because and I may take this they don't like the green tea as much because it has a bitter taste to it I am going to take the popcorn off of my Publix list and take it here because this is a better deal. Buy one, get one free, and it's Pop Secret. Pop Secret is good. The other one was Orville Rettenbacher over at Publix, and they were two for four. Again, it's Frozen Food Month, so they have a lot of frozen items on sale. I don't want any of these things because I do have frozen veggies. I buy fresh veggies as well. I keep a healthy mix of fresh frozen canned. And my daughter likes Milo's tea. I'm on the fence about whether or not to get her the Milo's tea because she'll OD. Now, the Cracker Barrel cheese is two for six at Winn-Dixie, and it's also two for six at Publix, so it doesn't matter where I get that from. It's all going to be the same price. And, oh, guys, I love the um, Tropicana probiotics. I only like the mango pineapple one, though. So I'm going to go ahead and get them while they're three for ten, and those are the big bottles. Those are not the little tiny ones. And now we are done with pretty much food. We're in health, beauty, pets, baby. Here we go. Here we go again. I don't need any of these things. I don't buy under normal circumstances. I do not purchase household products from anywhere except for my drugstores and Target. Unless it's a great, great deal. And by great, it better be a knockdown, drag out one. Now, I am looking on the buy one, get one free page. And look what it says. Buy one, get one free. Hundreds of BOGOs in store this week. So, what do I need? I don't have any Miracle Whip. I just told you guys what I use it for. I do like to have it. I have... And when I do, one day I'll do a like a tour of all of the hauls and stuff. I may do the one that I did from Walmart. So, this is where we are. Oh, my Welch's juice. I have to have juice because I don't like to drink soda unless absolutely there's nothing else and I don't have a choice matter of fact I haven't even purchased any soda period now that I've done my buy one get one free I'm going to go to the next page and see what else is on here so am I done yep I think I've reached the end guys yep I'm at the end. And the sale runs from February 27th through Tuesday, March 5th. So I have a week to get in and get what I need to get. It may be one trip or multiple trips. It may be one store at a time or it may be both stores in one day. It just depends on what's going on. I am going to now print this list. And why did this little print window pop up? And I don't see. 
I'll use a different command. See, if it's good to know your control keys on your computer so that when something like this happens, the dialog box pops up and it's no direct link to print it, I can make it print automatically just by pressing control P. And now I just wait for that to come up. Now my next trip is coupons.com because that is where all my printable coupons are. Why does it take so long for... My printer has been acting crazy. I'm going to have to go in and do some a lot of work to it because it's been doing a couple of things that I don't like. Now, I wonder our new... See how long it takes for it to start? I don't know why it does that. I am looking because I'm trying to see if these are the new coupons for March. Anywho, what I'm doing is going through to see if any of the items that I'm planning to purchase have coupons for them. And see, I told you guys at Publix there was a spam coupon probably somewhere to pair with the store coupon. It is. It's a dollar off too. So if you buy them, spam was advertised in the green flyer of Publix for two for five dollars and then you get the dozen of eggs free. So you have a dollar off two, which means you would be two for four and get the eggs free. So not a bad deal, not a bomb deal. Really isn't. And guys, I'm just scrolling and it doesn't look like anything I'm planning on purchasing except for the pizza rolls. Pizza rolls have a dollar off too. I would need that. Um, what else did I get? I don't have any ocean spray, pink cranberry juice. No, and why does this list look so short? This list is extremely short. Let me see what's going on here. My computer tends to act up. So we're going to go in. Okay. I don't see anything, guys. Unless it's because I'm not signed in. I don't. I've never signed in on this thing. Um, I don't even know what my sign-in is. I'll probably have to use it. But from what I see, I only need one item. I only have coupons for one. And that doesn't mean that that's all that I have. That just means that on here, that's all that I can use. I still have a stack of my February coupons that are good until certain dates hell some of these are good till march some are good till december 2019 it just depends see i still have a stack from february and on top of that i have a stack of i have a stack of insert coupons that i can go through to see if i have any coupons that apply and these are my shopping list this is winn dixie this is Publix shopping list. And so, you're going to hear me staple them together. So now when I get ready to go grocery shopping, all I have to do is grab my list and my coupons and I'm out the door to go to the store. Or I may carry them with me wherever I go. Then the next thing I would always want to check is Ibotta. See if... I want to see if there are any rebates. Oh my goodness. I hate when this sign me. I never use my laptop guys to do anything. So I'm not logged into anything on here. I'm always mobile. So it's either my iPad, my phone or something, but I'm never on my laptop. I'm only on here when it comes to you guys and making sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't see nothing. 
Whew, it's so many. You have to really take your time, but the procedure for grocery shopping is what I did. You go through your ads. You then locate your coupons. You locate your rebate offers, activate everything, print what you need, clip what you need, and then take yourself to the grocery store. If you want to, you can take it a step further and kind of guesstimate what your total is going to be. You just need to organize it by writing it down. See how I have a list here? What This is my Publix list, so anything that I have a coupon for, I probably would list down at the bottom, I would put what coupons I have for what and how much they are and what my anticipated total and subtotal is. I make use of this so I don't have to walk around with multiple pieces of paper. And I would do the same for my Winn-Dixie list at the bottom. And so that's how I would do that. And then I take my happy-go-lucky self to the store. And if I'm being lazy, once I come back, I'll activate whatever office. Because most of the time when you're putting away your groceries, you can scan the barcodes for anything that applies to Ibotta. For Saving Star, you can turn your receipt in and check out 51. Same thing. I typically do all that after my shopping if I want to, you know be lazy but if i'm pre-planning i'm looking at all this ahead of time so i know what to expect how much money i can expect back in my ibotta and i did cash out you guys on my ibotta let's see can i let's see if i can show you guys and my ten dollars from hulu did hit oh my goodness get off You guys, I can't be great. Um, oh my goodness, stop, son. Okay, you see my Ibotta is zeroed out. It is zeroed out. I need to hit 20 again, but let's go right here. Remember my earnings? I got my $10 credit for Hulu. So I got that. I actually just got it a couple of days ago. And where does it, it doesn't show my cash out? Well, it doesn't show that I cashed out. I thought it would. It does not, but you can tell I cashed out because this is not what was on there previously. I was almost at $40 before. Now I'm back at zero. And I did that on purpose because March is a new month and I will, I want to keep track of what I'm doing this month. I want to be more conscious and more intentional with my rebates and with my coupon in this month. I'm actually going to tell you guys about a challenge that I'm going to be doing. And so guys, that will sum up this whole how to coupon with grocery shopping, how I plan for a grocery shopping trip and such. And hopefully I will be able to take you guys on an actual trip one of these days. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or any comments, comment below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you great content. Thank you guys for watching again.